Do you see me? Do you see this? Pay attention. Three nine zero H. Do you know what you are? It's not a rhetorical question I'm asking you. Do you know what you- A human being. <laughs> no. I... All right, I will permit you that meager designation if you wish. But you are much more than human and rarer than hen's teeth. As a pre-cal, you carry within you the collected wisdom and experience of our world as recorded throughout the entirety of human existence. Not here. Not here. In your DNA, encoded by us at the time of your birth. You're a living, breathing, thinking mass storage device. A hard drive. <laughs> almost endless capacity. Like a hard drive, you may become corrupted at times, but blessedly, you are not the only one. You're the backup, a copy of a copy, of a copy. Normally, a pre-cal becomes corrupted. We simply reformat, uh, recalibrate. We erase and start anew. I don't want my mind erased. And neither do I. Memory loss is a complication, not the desired effect. I want to remember things. What things? Tonight, your friend out there has shown you a glimpse of the real world in all its disgusting manifestations. They poisoned you with the wrong kind of life experience, invited you to commit horrible crimes, and exposed you to their own corrupt reality. <sighs> per Directive 95, I asked that you be recalibrated, as you were many times before. However, you are broken beyond repair i'm very disappointed in you 390h did i catch you at a bad time darringer stop this recording at once it's not a recording it's live and Possible. The man is dead. Do I have your attention, Trey Glazon? I want to thank you for making a martyr of me. Shooting me, dumping my body in the drink was just what I needed to give me a little street cred with the boys in uniform. Luckily, you missed my vital organs, including my heart, which, given the fact that you don't have one of your own, it isn't surprising that you missed mine. <laughs> Speaking of heart, how's yours, Garinger? Hmm? I guess... What with the arrival and all, you've been too busy to notice the mutiny taking place right under your smug chin. The bridge rack of mine now. Enough of them anyway. And anyone else who wants to join the fight, you can find me at the place I described in the Doctor Manifesto. Get me a poisoned manifesto at once! There are no more. You had me burn them all. Oh, and Trey was off. One last thing. Watch your step. <laughs> it's an attack from within! He's trying to Sir. stop the arrival. Sir! This way.
Emperor. As of this morning, I am also your liberator. Hold on a sec, so let me just... Sorry about that. To those enslaved by Treglazov, you are now free. To the few still loyal to him, you will soon die. Choose your sides carefully. Do not sign contracts with marked men. They won't live long enough to honor them. We the people are too many. We are too angry. And we will express our outrage through any means necessary. Fellow revolutionaries, rise up with me. Fight beside me. Take that shaky hand of yours and make a fist out of it. Charge at those who were once in charge of you. Stand against those who once stood upon you. Do not back down. Do not retreat. And never, never turn your back on your country. Zero H. How did you get here? With help. Your phone. I don't need it anymore. Why is this? They led me astray. All right. I fed you that line, the overseer. Daniel, please. Listen to me, child. The one who is helping you from in there has gotten you closer to freedom than any precal has ever gotten. You weep. You know weep? 933W is dead. We don't know that. He drowned in the garden, trying to escape. He failed because he didn't have anyone to help him. Weep didn't have someone watching over him. Someone looking out for him. If you're really done, then I will escort you back to your room. But after today, it won't matter. We're burning this place down, kid. We could use your help. We could use your friend's help. Well, what about my friends in here? I want them to go free, all of them. Especially Cooper. We all want that. The question is, how do we go about it right? Not this again. Mireille and I don't see eye to eye on a few things. Violence is not the answer. The only one that registers. Terminus must be destroyed. At least we agree on that. But right now, it's protected by a division of loyalist Prizrak. Yeah, who have to die. No! No killing. We turn their hearts. Better yet, we turn them into hamburger. So, Precal. How do you and your friend want to do this? It's not about violence. Smart move. You're back in the right horse. The loyalist guarding Terminus won't go down without a fight. Let's bring them a good old-fashioned street brawl. Take a page from the Book of Zayt. This map will show you the locations of some friends in need. Prizrak. They require guns. So, how do we get the guns? We make them. First, take this blueprint to the 3D printer in archives. Crank out enough Roscoe's to arm a village. He means guns. Yeah. 
Then, go to locations on the map and distribute the guns to our new friends. How will we know who they are? I'll give you their names when you get closer. Take a box of bullets. Good luck. If you get into a jam, just think what I would do. And do the opposite. Captain speaking. Daniel. Thank you for choosing Air Zager, the only airline with daily non-stop service to hell and back.
into the printer and we'll get started. set off a metal detector. to your trick coins. You're right. Well, they're more loose chains than large denominations at this point. But, uh, hey, I know at least two Prizrak itching in their armor to take on Treglazov. David Bowen and Edwin Chung. And I'm sure they'll know some others. head to the barracks. Find Bowen and Chung. Consult the map if you get lost. There's no door that way. What's that, babe? There's no... How is she supposed to get to the Prizrak barracks if there's no door there? Oh, yeah. Uno memento. <laughs> now she has a door. Don't look at me like that. I consider this performance art.
we can recharge here. Are you David Bowen? Are you my executioner? Figures. Zager sent me. <laughs> and a child shall lead them. I have something for you. I'm not doing this alone. Is Chung in? That's a start. Who else? We were hoping you might know some others. I know a guy. He's 
name is Eduardo. Eduardo Nieves. He patrols around here. He'll fight. I'm sure of it. Thank you. Hey, pre cal Did I ever hit you? I don't remember. Eduardo Nieves. We'll have to catch him on patrol. Draw him away from the other Prizrak. Think you can find him? They all look the same to me. Uh, I'm betting your friend can ID him. Let's get to it. Draw Eduardo Nieves away from the other Prizrak and give him one of the guns. I found you, I'm not daring. Actually, I found you. David Bowen believes you'll support Zager. Zager? If I give you a gun, will you fight alongside him? What the hell do you know about Zager? I don't have time to explain. If I give you a gun, right now, will you fight alongside Zager? They want to storm the terminus, don't they? Yeah, I'm in. Gun. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Good job. 
That's two down, and we still have Edwin Chung's sympathies. Let's go see him now. Chang? Who wants to know? My name is Hope. A pre with a name. What's the world coming to? Zager has something for you. Terminus. Right. Who else is feeling suicidal? David Bowen. But Zager says we need more. Go find Stanley Walker. He'll do this. Stanley Walker. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Chung says you can help me. Help you? What are you talking about? You're a sympathizer. One of Zager's friends. Who sent you? They said you would be willing to take down Terminus. They did, did they? What is this? Zager's got a pre cal doing I can dirty give you a work. gun. Show me. Doesn't look like much. Will you fight? What the hell else am I going to do? Get out of here. 
Okay, that's four. Not bad. How many guns you got left, kid? One. I know who we can give that fifth gun to. Is it Cooper? <laughs> Cooper? <laughs> We'd have better luck arming Gandhi. Now, now the guy I'm thinking of is Goran Plesko. A month ago, I would have written off his number one of Derringer's toadies, but the times there are changing. Be on the lookout for Goran. He usually patrols the dorms. Goran Plesko is somewhere in the dorms. Find him and hand him the last of the printed guns.
in. Anyone spots a three cal synthesizer, we'll find the rest. Three cal synthesizer, looks like the one who got away. Get that threat level up. This spot looks good. I hope they can't see me here. They can't see me here.
heading to the vent. We'll need a screwdriver to open this vent. I need a screwdriver to open this vent. There goes the screwdriver. Is that Gorin? Gorin! Yeah, yeah, that's Gorin. Well, I guess he's out. We're out of time. Looks like it'll just be the four of them. You did good, Precal. You and your eye in the sky. Two of you should probably head up the Terminus. What a day. This one's going out to you, Goran Plesko. I'm in the atrium. Yeah, I get a bit so carried away. Much destruction. And mind the terrain. Did Marie Just... give up on us? I haven't heard from her in a while.
Our boys are about to advance on Terminus. Hold on to your hoodies. Don't parade the girl through here. She doesn't need to see this. Sorry, but this is a war. That right there is a battlefield. Oh, oh, go to the service elevator. Do not look at that. Just step. And that ain't a figure of speech, kid. It's a long way down. What are we doing up here? This panel controls the cooling system for Terminus. controls the cooling system for Terminus.
This part should be simple enough. Terminus is unstable, power hungry, and never more than a second away from total catastrophic meltdown. Not like the Overseer. A few slight adjustments will cause it to overheat. Go ahead and tweak the cooling system settings now. That did the trick. Open the shallow doors and we'll pull her up. You bet. Can you two give me a hand with this? We don't have much time.
Just keep stretching us like a rubber band around the water bills. You're good, boy. Keep stretching and we're gonna snap. <laughs> Gentlemen, hop in. All of us in the back? The coast? Yeah, it's like a cheap motel. <laughs> no ballroom. You gentlemen enjoying New York? Where are we going? Uh, hey, yo, my man, Sahib, just uh, keep driving. Stay in the village, but avoid the major streets. Oh, and lay off the horn, will you? I got a pretty sick hangover. We're having this meeting in a taxi? Is this some kind of a joke? <sighs> this is where I like to take my meetings. So what did you want to talk to me about? Terminus. Ironclad. Right. You guys keep stretching us like a rubber band around a lot of bills. You're good for it. <laughs> keep stretching and we're gonna snap. Look, uh, gentlemen, I think you may have wasted a trip to the city. And Wall Street is gonna do what it wants. If our interests happen to coincide with the interests of Washington, that's great. But, uh, we don't set our watches to the time you keep, you know what I mean? I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> Whoa. Admiral, maybe you should tell your friend. Shut up, Kyle. Stop running your greasy fingers through your $500 haircut. And look at me! We control the network. Everything runs through us now. In fact, everything runs through me. I'm the switchboard. You need to talk to Washington, you talk to me. Need a favor from Silicon Valley? Get permission from me. That's how it is now. Terminus has been given final approval, and the price tag is a big, fat, blank, Check. You want to start a war with us, old man? War's over. We already won. The Vice Admiral and I didn't come here today to sign a peace treaty with you. You're a dick. Maybe. But this dick is about to dictate the terms of your surrender. So here they are. You will split the costs 90-10 with the Pentagon. If they need more, as these sorts of things can go over budget. You will have the funds at the ready within 24 hours of our request. You will establish shareholder packages for each of the chief contractors who are to build this thing. And you will give my friend, Richard, something to do when he retires. Richard, what is it you want to do when you leave the military? Well, I... I mean, to be honest... Set him up somewhere nice. Give him a cushy job at the Rand Corporation. I don't know anyone at the... Rand Corporation. I guess I'd be happy just to... Well, these aren't negotiations, Kyle. Yeah, apparently. So, we fully bankroll the most expensive infrastructure project since the Great Pyramid of Giza. And, and what? What's in it for us? What does Wall Street get to keep? Your heads. Can we get off this merry-go-round? I've got a piss. Enjoy the rest of your time. I think he got the message. I'm not paying for this cab.
We did it. How long do we have? Not long at all. <gasps> Battery's dying, and so is she. You hear me? You and your friend have caused enough trouble for one night. You don't want to watch this. What is it? It's all right. Take a breath. Is it... America? Is this your world? Is there even a way out of it? <gasps> We're too close to Terminus. We need to move before it goes up. This way. Nagel is off. Vice Admiral. This way. Uh, what happened, Bridgie? Wrestling bears at your ranch in Sheridan? No, I was hanging a picture for Marjorie and I fell off a ladder. Oh, you should be more careful. Want me to take that off your hands? Soon enough. We do this by the book. For what we're about to do, there is no book. What was that thunder earlier? One of our LSOs says he heard a raucous noise coming from below deck. Construction. Where's Darren? The 
The arrival will now commence. Bring all cameras to front stage. Roger that. All UAVs to front stage. The beaches so are set. Much the board is yours, right Admiral. To do it any other way would invite scrutiny. But better we bury our secrets in plain sight. Press the green button to east side. And once more. Congratulations, Mr. Dreglazoff. They have the eyes. I welcome you. That's it? No TLS? Triple DES? Not even a thumbprint? This was only ever a formality. Relax. I ran a thorough background check on you. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Smile for the cameras? I always do. You're at a high-stakes table now. I hope you have enough to ante up. My dear Richard, Terminus makes Bluffdale look like a thumb drive. I am confident my data is larger than yours. I'd really like to see it. What the heck just happened? Wait! Hold your fire! Gone? Terrence, what's going on? We're okay. We have backup. The pre-cals. Recalibrated. All of them. On your orders, sir. Except the one who... Except the one who escaped last night. God damn Directive 95. What's that? Men! He's all that's left. Who is? What are you talking about? He's all that's left. Traglos off. What happened to Terminus? Three, nine, zero, H. Three, nine, zero, H. you, child. Triglazov, who is the girl? Come back to me. I can make this right. Who are you talking to? Have her come back to me. I'll give you whatever you ask. Young lady, if you're being held against your will, the U.S. government can offer you a Shut the fuck up, Richard! Listen to me. We can guarantee your safety. This ship is now U.S. soil. Hell it is! Declare asylum, and we will guarantee your safety. You're not hearing me. Kid. Hey, kid. Get over here. Come with us. They can't hurt you anymore. Neither can you. Should I tackle her? Grab her! No! She'll jump! Stand down! Damn it, stand down! You're not listening to she me! She has it all! The weight of the world! But that weight will crush her! If she jumps, it will sink her like a stone! And when she dies, everything we encoded in her is lost forever! Don't! Let her go. Reason with her. She'll listen to you. Bring her back to me. Don't let her go, you holy Ignore fool! Ignore them. We have a boat. They can't touch you, child. Come, get on the boat with us. Enough! Wait. Let's think about this. Are you sure? I don't know. You did more for me than anyone. But this, I have to do on my own. Huh? 